Hey everybody, we're here today with Josh Baxley. He's a Mercruiser certified technician here at the Hall Marine Group. Uh, Josh, we're looking at the extreme heaters here today. They're a bilge heater. Tell everybody a little bit about them and uh, when they can be useful. These bilge heaters are a great product for uh, use in the winter time. It keeps you, it gets you away from having to winterize your engine and store it throughout the season and opens up a window of opportunity for you to actually enjoy your boat on those nice days in the middle of the winter. Uh, the primary way it works is it, it, it keeps a pocket of air, hot air, in the engine compartment throughout the winter, preventing the engine from having freeze damage from uh, moisture or water in the engine block or engine exhaust system, freezing and cracking any uh, internal parts that could, you know, cause severe damage. Uh, these bilge heaters are a really uh, wonderful product that has come on the market in the last few years. It just They've gotten really safe, uh, a lot safer than uh, the old putting a light bulb in the bilge and turning it on. You know, that can leave you open and susceptible to fires from anything from electrical uh, fires to uh, the, the light bulb actually, you know, falling and breaking and then causing a spark, which will, you know, ignite fumes. These bilge are, are um, safe. They've been through... Uh, so tell me, you, you talked about the safety on these. Have they done some testing on them? Yes, all these bilge heaters are ABYC certified, which is a standard in the marine boating environment. Um, that they they put these through rigorous tests to make sure that they are going to withstand um, water, you know, moisture in the air. They just make sure that they won't have any harmful effects on the boat itself. Um, like I said, these are a really good product. They keep everything nice and warm in here. Um, you need to get with your uh, service uh, provider to make sure you have the right size for the capacity of the boat you have. They range in 300 watt to all the way to 600 watt. Can, can you use them in any size boat, a, a small 18 footer yes, up to uh, the uh, biggest yacht? The 300 watt model is uh, recommended for 24 and below. Um, and the 600 watt uh, model is 29 and over with the 450 being a nice fit for in the middle. Um, these work on any uh, arrangement of engines. If you have a uh, single engine like we have here on this 280, or if you have twins, uh, they can be mounted upside down. You can be mounted on their sides. There's no, you know, there's no bilge that this will not fit in. Um, and they're really easy to install. You know, you don't even have to bolt them down. If you're just going to use it for the winter time, they can be laid in the engine room, and they come with a 30-foot uh, plug. So you just plug right into your receptacle. So and, you, you do have to have power yes, to, to for, for them power, to work. Or if you're on a trailer, you need to have um, access to a extension cord to plug just, into just the, to 110. A yes, just 110. Yes, just regular, just like your house, house would have. Okay, very good. Um, talk about the installation. Is this somebody that something that people can install themselves? Um, there's two different ways you can go about it. If you just want to just drop it in here, put it somewhere secure where the boat's not going to be moving around a lot, and just plug it in, that's quite fine. It comes with instructions in the box telling you how the boat needs to, to be in the water or on the trailer and what you, you need to get. Um, the best thing is to talk to your service provider and have them walk you through it. Or if you wanted to install it as a permanent fixture in your boat, which some people do, we can uh, install it to where all you need to do is plug it in and hit a switch and it comes on. I, th I think we just did one on a 350 Sundancer here that uh, we made a nice uh, fiberglass platform for it to sit on and mounted it real nice so it can stay yes, there permanently. Yes, sir. Very good. So, Josh, if somebody wanted to put one of these heaters in their in their bilge, um, can you go ahead and tell them how to get an estimate for their specific situation so they get the right heater and installed properly? Yeah, the, the best thing to do would be to call the Marine Service Center, uh, Hall Marine Service Center that, in your location, ask for the uh, the uh, service manager, and they will be uh, more than happy to work a quote for you on uh, putting one of these in. There, there's not much to them, uh, just depending on the way you want it installed. Yeah, we'll, we'll dictate the price on it. Perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate explaining it.